We're almost in places. Ten seconds. Best intentions. Let's have a crash check. Six. Five. Okay, fade the black. Three. All last Tuesday, all the time. I'm Cookie Masterson, and I came here to kick butt and chew gum. And I just ran out of chewing gum. Flying solo, so did Amelia Earhart. And look how that turned out. And the wrong answer of the game is brought to you by Granny's Roach Butter. Slow churned, down home, authentic roach flavor and love. Okay, let's hit it. First up, John and Kate plus eggs. Suppose John and Kate Gosselin had eight goslings instead of children. In keeping with the mating habits of geese, how long should John and Kate stay together? One mating season, for a few days, for life, or until their acting careers take off? Geese, unlike John and Kate, mate for life. Also, I learned by watching Dancing with the Stars that geese are great dancers when compared to Kate Gosselin. Why not try Honk If Horny? If car horns only played songs that came from the same country as the cars were originally manufactured in, which horn would come with the BMW? Horn 1, La Cucaracha? Horn 2, O'Tannenbaum? The BMW and the Christmas song O Tannenbaum are both German. I'm not sure what country my car is from exactly, but based on the horn, it's wherever that I'm a Barbie girl song was recorded. It's time for Solid Unsalted Gold. If rolled gold introduced a pretzel made of 99% pure gold, what would it be called? 10 karat tiny twist pretzels, 16 karat classic style pretzel rods, 24 karat low fat pretzel sticks. 24 karat gold is an alloy made of 99 to 99.9% .9 pure gold. I've made my own prototype here, and let me tell you, it tastes. Ow! Ow! May I introduce Urin Mick Ecstasy? And oh yeah, baby, it's a dis or dat. I am going to read seven phrases. For each one, I want you to tell me if it's a McDonald's slogan or a song by Barry White. If it's McDonald's, press the square button. If it's Barry White, Press your circle button. Each right answer gets you 300 sexy, sexy dollars. But get one wrong and you'll be an unhappy meal. And you've got 30 seconds to get it on. We good? Here we go. What you want is what you get. Every time a good time. I'm qualified to satisfy. Put a smile on. I've got so much to give. I'm loving it. Never, never gonna give you up. Baby, your mediocrity is turning me on. Very slightly, but I can feel a subtle difference. You know, maybe McDonald's should start writing sexy love songs for their ads. Their products already sound sexy. Big and tasty, quarter pounder, chicken strips, uh, apple turnover. Where's the bomb, girl? Here we have 10 lines of the nude and famous. Based on their heights, which of these pasty nudes would need to spend the most time in a spray tan booth? Rodan's The Thinker, Michelangelo's David, Alexandros's Venus de Milo, or Myron's The Discus Thrower? Michelangelo's original sculpture stands ripped at approximately 14 and a half feet, by far the tallest of these four. Although if you were sprayed orange, people might just think it's a 14-foot statue of Regis Philbin. We've finished round one. And you should be very proud of that score, because I'm not. Don't forget, in round two, all the cash is doubled. Okay, let's do this. Uh, 
And now, the doctor will see you now, Ms. Montana. Let me see if I got this straight. Miley Cyrus plays Hannah Montana, but all her little fangirls know it's Miley Cyrus. But when she tours, she tours as Hannah Montana, and there was a movie about this, and hang on. The Miley Cyrus Hannah Montana phenomenon is best explained by what medical diagnosis? Munchausen syndrome by proxy? Obsessive compulsive disorder? Dissociative identity disorder? Dissociative identity disorder is a fancy doctoring way of saying multiple personalities. I think it's fascinating how you can simultaneously have two personalities and no personality. Question seven. Here's one for you. I admit to letting the dogs out. Hi everybody, I'm here with everyone's favorite ventriloquist dummy, Billy O'Brien. And I'm here with everybody's favorite dummy ventriloquist, Cookie Nasterson. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me. What news do you bring today, Billy? I'm dying. You're dying? Oh my god, Billy. No, I'm not dying. I'm dying a cheer dread toots. I want to die a dog to win Dustin's show at the Westminster Dog Show. If my best bet was to have a dog in the herding category, which toots should I purchase? A Dodern Intensure? A Tonneranian? A do a Border Collie is the only dog on this list that could compete in the herding category at the Westminster Dog Show. I want to win Destin's show because my days are numbered. Your days are numbered? Billy, you said you weren't dying. I'm not, Dunny. I just have a very detailed numeric day schedule. Blocking chickens picking out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. How about, oh, I've never tried the global position. If your GPS told you to drive as the crow flies, what would it be telling you to do? Drive in circle for 3.3 miles. Drive 10 miles out of your way to your destination. As the crow flies refers to moving in a straight line. The GPS voice is so trustworthy and comforting. Sometimes during a long drive, I tell her my secrets. This one's known as... Okay, say you get mad at somebody while talking on your Blackberry and you make a fart noise at them, AKA a raspberry. You know, if the spit from your raspberry mixes with your Blackberry, what new phone might form? An elderberry curve, a cranberry bold, a gooseberry storm, or a loganberry tour? Your mother's smelt of elderberries. Smart people choose this. In the botanical world, when a raspberry and a blackberry join together in a magical union, you get a loganberry. A great feature of the Loganberry phones is, if you accidentally eat your phone, you can then poop it out and the seeds will eventually produce several more phones, with proper gardening. Hold me, never let me go. Fuck her up for, your mom's an empowered woman. Imagine this, one day your mom shows you a tattoo across her lower back and tells you the tattoo is an ambigram. Which of these responses to your mom's new tattoo is also an ambigram? What did you, mom? You did what? What the f***, mom? Tramp stamp! Or, mom, wow! An ambigram is an image or text that looks the same right side up and upside down. But why would she want one on her lower back? I mean, no one will ever see it upside down, right? Um, right? <laughs> Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 4,000 bucks if you're right, but if you're wrong, you lose 4,000. And most importantly, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. What are you searching for? I hope it's something good. Good luck.
There it is! Well, looky there, you made it to the big time. So now that you're here, you should probably start scheduling your plastic surgery. Oh, and get yourself a pet monkey and some Bulgari sunglasses for you and the monkey. You don't know Jack! Jack, 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 Jack. Here's one I like to call Honk If Horny. If car horns only played songs that came from the same country as the cars were originally manufactured in, which horn would come with the BMW? Horn 1, La Cucar Oh, you're gonna kick yourself. The BMW and the Christmas song O Tannenbaum are both German. I'm not sure what country my car is from exactly, but based on the horn, it's wherever that I'm a Barbie girl song was recorded. BMWs probably wouldn't play a Spanish song like La Cucaracha. But since La Cucaracha means the cockroach, it is a song you might want to play while enjoying a year's supply of... Roach Butter from Granny's Roach Butter. Only Grandma has the loving patience to milk a roach. This wrong answer of the game has netted you an extra 4,000. Congratulations. You don't know Jack! Nice work, folks. Donnie, what's going on? Hey, are you eagle to play another round? Do my bangs look better swept this way? Or that way? Um, probably that way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This exchange has been brought to you by the Council for Overheard Doing Conversations. Hello, I'm Nick Thayer, and I'm not here to sell you anything. I used my own money to buy some advertising time to let the world know that I hate Jeff Hansen. This isn't a tricky sales ploy or a joke. Seriously, Jeff Hansen of Chicago, Illinois is a real person and a jerk, and I really hate him a lot. I am not a rich man. This commercial is expensive and is taking most of the money that I would use to send my children to college. But if it makes any of you understand just how much I hate Jeff Hansen, who is a real person who works in Chicago and lives in Evanston, has brown hair and is about six foot four, then it will be worth it. If I have one hope, it is that spending my entire life savings in these scary economic times will burn the name Jeff Hansen into your brain so that if you ever had the misfortune of actually meeting him, you will remember just how deeply and totally I hate this man and take it as a warning to steer clear. Thank you for listening. Unless you happen to be Jeff Hansen, in which case, f you, sir. When is a pickle not a pickle? Find out tonight. This week on Racist Doctor. Doctor, we're losing him. We've tried everything. Isn't it obvious? This has lupus. But will this be Racist Doctor's last patient? We're gonna have to fire him. Why? He's a terrible racist. But he's an amazing doctor. Don't miss the season finale of Racist Doctor. Give it to me straight, Doc. Am I gonna live? I promise you I'll do everything in my power to save you so you can keep living your miserable life. Uh, thanks? And nothing can prepare you for the shocking final moments. You suffered a pretty severe blow to the head after that last surgery. I think I may be losing my ability to be racist. Racist doctor. What's wrong, baby? Your bee beard! It's too unruly. I don't love you anymore. No! What do I do? Biz, get a buzzkill beard trimmer, bozo! Huh? Biz, get the buzzkill beard trimmer and shave or trim your bee beard for the utmost comfort for you and your lady. You can have bee mutton chops, a bee handlebar mustache, or a bee soul patch. Hey, your bee beard looks great. I love you again. Thanks, buzzkill! Who makes you look sharp without the sting? Buzz does! Also available, Hive Diver Bikini Wax. Your child is the most precious thing in your life. Mama loves you so much, Eric. And as a parent, you wish you could protect your innocent baby from this cruel world forever. Unfortunately, the real world is out there waiting for you. You didn't make the squad, kid. You throw like a girl. It's not you, Eric. It's me. You're fired. But for now, you can still protect him with the no-surprise Jack-in-the-box. 
Hey there, excuse me, uh, but I'm gonna pop out of this box soon. I don't mean to alarm you, but I will be popping out in about five seconds or so, so please prepare yourself. Again, I don't want to scare you, but I'm coming out in just a sec. And here I am, as promised on time. This was fun. The No Surprise Jack in the Box from the No Surprise Jack in the Box Company. Because there are enough surprises in the world. Not to order the veal. This handy restaurant companion lists over a thousand excuses to use.